Welcome to another cleaning video. I do apologise because this video is actually, the majority is not cleaning, but I promise in the future I'll do more cleaning. But in the video I'm basically just hoovering my whole house. I do do other cleaning, but I just don't have the energy to film everything and to clean at the same time. If you can hear anything, it's my dog, Cupcake. She's panting right next to me as I'm doing this voiceover. Um, but yeah, you'll notice potentially if you've watched my other videos that I have just bought a new Hoover. I decided to buy a Henry Hoover because of the power of the Hoover and also because I like all the attachments that come with it and how big the bag sizes are, um, like how much dust and things get stored in them. So for me, I've really loved having this Hoover for that reason. And also I think they look cute. I did want the pink one, but it was 30 pounds more. So I was like, oh, I won't waste my money getting that. Um, but yeah, today I just decided to do a quick Hoover around the house. Every other week I will just do a quick Hoover. And then on the other weekends, I will do a proper Hoover where I get everything out the way and I properly hoover it underneath things and around the edges and stuff like that so yeah but today was just a very quick kind of hoover day and I love those days because I hate having to like go on my knees and just get the tube out and start hoovering around the edges like I just hate that now um but you know it's got to be done we've got to clean once the baby is here I will still try to post videos every so often I don't think it would be once a week to start with anyway especially not but as I'm on maternity leave I'll probably have some time to film some clips during the week but I do want to kind of structure my videos where I have like the start of the video is cleaning and like a speed cleaning section and then I do like a hello fresh meal my meals for this week section because I'm doing HelloFresh at the minute, I'm getting a HelloFresh subscription. Um, and then I also want to talk about like a baby update slash pregnancy update, that kind of thing. And then just anything else in the video as well. Um, in this video, it is also in collaboration with Fazin, which you'll see later on in the video. That's a hair straightener collaboration. So if you're into beauty and like doing your hair and things like that then you will like that section of the video but that is a little bit later on in the video. I do really like this hoover attachment that comes for the stairs because that is super handy to be able to clean the stairs really really fast and the stairs don't tend to get like really really dusty anyway and really in a bad way so um, for me that's just perfect to be able to do that. Um, the hoover doesn't balance on the stairs so I have to try and balance it with, with my knees um, but it's all right like there is worse things out there. past few weeks I had a discount code for HelloFresh that I used to get money off of my HelloFresh boxes. I've never tried it before so I wanted to give it a go. I used a code from a YouTuber that I watched, she's called Amy Rose Walker and I got 60, I think 60% off my first box and then 25% off the next two boxes. I love HelloFresh, I really do, like it's so quick, it's so easy. The meals are really nice, it makes me try new things, it makes it interesting to cook, it's really easy to follow the recipe cards that they give. All of the ingredients are there, they're all pre-portioned, you don't have to go to the shop and buy them. Um, and for me, it's just so nice and so quick. I'm debating whether to still pay for HelloFresh 
when it's full price and I don't have a discount code because of how nice it is to use it and how easy it is. I thought I would show you all of the HelloFresh recipes that I've had this week and what they were supposed to look like and what they turned out like. seeing how it's going because it's been a little while since I've updated you and I'm going to show you some changes and some things that we've got for the baby. So in terms of a pregnancy update as I'm filming this I'm currently 34 weeks and a few days so I'll be 35 weeks in a few days um, so I've only got about five weeks and a couple of days to go. This is what I look like so this is the the bump, the baby bump. My friends put on a baby shower last weekend and it was really cool. They did little games and things like that. And I've got like a scrapbook of the day of in terms of like who's guessed what, cause there was like guessing games and things like that. So I'll show that at one point, but that's actually at work. Cause I was kind of looking at that at work <laughs> and adding to it, but they did also get me a few things. So I'll show you that in a second, but overall, the baby's move, been moving quite a lot. I have found walking easier. I think I've got used to being heavier. I think when I was first kind of growing a lot more, I found my legs were really hurting. It was really difficult, but now I've kind of got used to it a lot more. And the more I stay active, the, the better it is. But this is currently what the baby's room is looking like. We've got a little baby bath. We've got the changing table. I put up some little pictures on the wall. This is an organised wardrobe for her where I have put everything in and organised it. So I have actually already packed my hospital bag as well, which looks like this. It's got stuff in for me and stuff in for the baby. I packed everything that I can physically pack now and then I wrote a little list on the day of things that I need to pack in afterwards. I just didn't want to buy two of everything. Like I didn't want to have two toothbrushes. Um, two hair brushes and two phone chargers, things like that. I just thought I will have time to grab it at the time. And if I don't, then like whatever. Uh, but I'm not going to buy two. And it's funny because I actually bought this hospital bag from Amazon for like, I can't remember how much it was, but it wasn't expensive. It was really cheap. And since then, I see it all the time on TikTok advertised um, by like loads of TikTok creators as like a really good hospital bag or a really good travel bag so yeah I just see it all the time now so I did buy a few more things myself I got this towel here so this is a little towel for the baby when she's had a bath and it's got like a little hood on it like an elephant hood I thought that was really cute so I just bought her that so that's her little bath towel then I got this it's called like um it's like a nose baby nose unblocker it like gets rid of the snot from their nose so it's a bit gross but that wasn't expensive so I got that I got some nappy cream here as well which I'm sure will come in handy I did also buy a couple more things but I'll probably have to show that in the next video because they haven't arrived yet but a few people did get me some stuff at the baby shower so I'll show you that now I was really lucky that so far I haven't well I haven't at all had to buy any baby clothes. A lot of the baby clothes I've got have been given to me um, as in like passed down to their second hand. But I thought that I would show you the baby clothes that my friends have bought me because these are the clothes that I'm going to prioritise the baby in wearing because obviously my friends have bought me them. Um, and also they're really, really cute. So 
firstly jamie's sister megan um i also work with megan as well she uh, works at the same place as me and she got me this is like the cutest thing but it says little girl on it and it's like a little baby suit thing and yeah i think the baby will be wearing this quite a lot in like the earlier stages because it's just like a cute small little suit but yeah that's adorable um she also got the baby two of these so there's one underneath that's like um yeah like disney characters on it which is really cute so yeah there's two of those she also got the baby these bibs which will be coming in handy when and the baby's about probably six sorry one of the one of the pages just fell off the wall um but yeah this will probably come in handy when she's a little bit older and she can have food so like six months old or something um but there's so many they're so cute in here as well so that's what megan got me and she did also get the baby a little toy a little kind of teddy toy that's in the crib so i'll show you that in a minute so steph got me this this is like an all-in-one suit and this is so cute this will be great for um when the baby is born because that's like autumn months where the weather is not like crazily warm um and this is a really nice thick soft fluffy all-in-one suit so yeah that's super cute then Emma, my friend Emma, Emma and Steph were the ones, by the way, who organised the baby shower, got me this, which is a two-piece set. So it's like a vest kind of thing and then little leggings underneath. So that's so cute. Um, but yeah, she got me that. And she also got me another all-in-one suit and it just says, I love my mummy on it and it's got a little rabbit. Um, and yeah, that's so adorable. Um, I have rabbits as well, they're in the garden, um, but yeah, that's really cute. Then she also got me these um, kind of cloth thingies, which are very handy for like when you're trying to feed the baby and stuff like that. And just if the baby's sick on you and things like that, little cloths, which are really cute. And she also bought a full pack of socks for the baby. So these are so cute they'll fit her um for quite a while because they're a decent size um but yeah she got me loads of these so they'll come in handy but yeah that's everything that everybody got me at the baby shower which was really cute and thanks to everybody that got me stuff and thanks for steph and emma for organizing the baby shower as well because it was a really cool day and i've got now all of the activities and cards that people filled out with guesses of the baby's like eye colour, hair colour, that kind of thing. So I can look back on that after I've given birth and see if it was like, if who who was correct. Um, but I'm just gonna pack this stuff away and then I'll show you some stuff around the house. My mum also got the baby this like light up book um, thing. So it does light up, I'll show you at night sometime, but yeah, that's really cute. It's like a little night light. So this is the baby's crib. I put it in our room next to our bed already. Um, this is something that Megan, Jamie's sister, got me. It's like a little um, blanket toy, which will be her first one, which is really cute. We've got like a crib that's down here, um, downstairs in the living room. The blanket probably won't be staying in there, but I just put that in there for now. Um, and this is like whenever she's down here. I got given some flowers at my baby shower and a couple of cards, even though Teddy has put a paw print on this card. Um, but yeah, and then I've got the baby's pram, which is here in the corner. And I bought this like little attachment thing for the pram. My dad's friend did actually give him this for free from work. So that was really cute. And oh, this balloon was for my baby shower. Jamie, you could take the helium out if you want because it's gone empty. Have fun. <laughs> um, I've put this little bouncy baby chair thing here, which is like in its place. I decided to put all the baby stuff where it will be when she's here. Then I've got this little baby rocker thing and um, she sits in there and then you can turn it on and it rocks by itself and then in the kitchen i made like a little formula station thingy 
Um, I'm not sure if she'll be breastfed or formula fed yet, but I've got formula anyway. Um, so I've got just a couple of bottles, this sterilizing thing that I was given and some liquid and um, this infant formula. So that's all of the baby updates and baby things since the last time I spoke to you. I think it's been quite a while. So this section of the video is in collaboration with Fazin. I think that's how you spell it, uh, pronounce it. I will put the name on the screen. Um, I've had this product for a little while since they sent me it because I haven't been filming any kind of new videos since then. Um, I've just been busy. I've been posting holiday vlogs, but it's been um, a holiday that was a month ago. So yeah, I've been a bit lazy on that, but I'm filming a review now and this is definitely going to be like a true... Guys, can you shut up please? No, be good. This is definitely going to be a true review because I use this literally every single day or if not every other day. But this is the box that you get. Sorry if the light's not so good. And it's called the Professional Hair Straightener and it's the Series F100. I will put a link in the description to this exact product if you want to go and check this one out. So it has like a little cover here that you can keep the straighteners in and this is what it looks like so it does also come with a couple of hair clips as well they are in the bathroom because I use them when I'm doing my makeup to clip my hair back so um, I might grab those in a second actually but this is what the straightness looks like currently it's like in a locked position there's like a little button that you pull here and it opens it up we have the on button here which is what turns it on and then you've got up and then down for the temperatures so there is a screen here that will display the temperature that it gets to so guys stop cakey so i'm going to plug it in and i'm going to press on here and that will turn on the screen you can't really see it because it's kind of sunny outside um, but I, you then adjust it to what temperature you want it to by pressing the plus arrow and I've set it to 200 degrees and basically what the screen does is it goes up until it gets to 200 degrees. So whilst this is heating up, I'm going to go and fetch my hair clips and things that I need. So, Jamie's off to football in a second. My hair needs a brush. It's kind of chaos in here because the dogs are being annoying. But bring my hair fully down and then I use my hair brush, brush through. Always brush through the bottom and then work your way up. Don't just brush from the top down because oh my god that would hurt and also it would rip all your hair. So now my hair is brushed. I have this heat protect spray. This is from Tresemme and it says it protects up to 230 degrees. So I'm just going to spray some of that through my hair and then brush out like that. Kind of let that sit in. And whilst that's doing that, I'm just gonna use the two clips that come with the hair straighteners and pull back some hair. So I'm gonna split my hair into two sections on each side. Okay, so now they're split into two sections. I am now going to straighten my hair. Now the first time I used these straighteners, I was actually really pleasantly surprised because the straighteners I had before these were really old and I had literally had them for years and they were on their last legs and my hair wasn't really getting too straight. As soon as I used these, like I literally said to Jamie, it feels like butter. Like, you know, when something glides so nicely and I'm not just saying that because they sent me this product. I actually genuinely have that experience. Um, so these were really nice for that. I also like the fact that it displays a temperature on the screen. Um, but basically I just take a little section of the hair and I just go like this and pull. Another section. It's a little bit harder for me right now because I don't have a mirror. And then pull. And then pull and then I kind of go over what I've done 
slightly. I'm the kind of person though that sometimes I will straighten my entire hair um, like I am now and you know really straighten it and make every last strand the straightest it's ever been but most days I use this product to just straighten the ends of my hair. I will tie my hair up in a bun the night before so it's wavy and then I would just straighten the ends in the morning and it's kind of wavy but then straight at the ends and it looks really good well in my opinion. I like it like that and it just means the rest of my hair isn't you know having the heat on it as much um, because I do um, straighten my hair quite often so yeah that's how I mainly use the product it's just straight in the ends um, but I do like to have straight fully straight hair sometimes and I'm going to straighten the top <laughs> crazy 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 and straighten you know every last morsel of my hair today because I am going to be having a shower this afternoon I don't want to just straighten my hair for no reason but I did want to show you this product and how it works and how straight it is this will keep my hair straight for you know however long until I wash it basically I didn't 100% straighten it totally underneath here um, because like I said, this is actually the part where there's like little strands and I don't want to, um, you know, cause any more kind of heat damage to them. But obviously I have used my heat protect spray, um, so it, it should be okay. Um, but yeah, this is how I like to have my hair um, straightened. And every single day, like I said, I kind of have it a little bit wavy at the top and then little, probably I probably straighten about this much every day or every other day. And that's how I like to do my hair. But overall, I really love this product and I was so happy to be sent it because of how terrible my last hair straightener was. And yeah, this one works really well. It heats up really fast. That's what I found. It's really smooth on the hair. Um, you can set it to whatever temperature you want. It cools down really quickly. And you've got these two little clips that come with it, which is really great. So I will link these down in the description box if you want to go and check out these hair straighteners because I would 100% recommend them. There's literally nothing bad I can say. Every time I do a review I want to say something slightly negative just to make it like a balanced review but I can't think of anything negative and it's been great especially when you're pregnant and you want to do your hair really fast um, because I am uh, my baby is due in about five weeks so um i just get up in the morning i want to do my hair fast this is really helpful for me um but yeah so thank you to fazin for collaborating with me i will link their straighteners in the description if you want to go and check them out but apart from that let's carry on also with my nana gave me this rug and i put it over there and yeah i had it in the middle of the room but it was a little bit slippy <laughs> so i did put it there but that's another thing that's like an addition to the house I also moved my sofa that was there and I put it here next to it just so that the dogs wouldn't jump in the window because both of them bark a lot at people outside and if they're not in a the window then they can't see people and then they can't bark. <laughs> 